Today we will understand that some artworks send messages with symbols, describe and interpret visual forms that communicate ideas, and design a drawing that communicates a visual symbol that is easily understood. Materials, 12 by 18 white paper, pencils, erasers, markers, and colored pencils. What do you think of when you see a picture of a fist with a thumb pointing up? We know this as the thumbs up, which means that something is good or positive. We know pictures with the thumb pointed down as thumbs down, which means that something is bad or negative. These pictures are called visual symbols. Why do you think visual symbols are called wordless messages? People can communicate a message through art. Today we'll use art to create a wordless message. We'll use a symbol so people will know what it stands for without words. When you communicate, you share ideas about other people. Long before people invented writing, they communicated by making pictures. They sent and received wordless messages. Today we will communicate without words. One way we communicate through art is to use visual symbols. A visual symbol is made of lines, colors, and shapes that stand for something else. For example, flags are symbols for countries. Uncle Sam is a symbol for the government of the United States. What do you think of when you see the American flag? What words or ideas come to mind? Why is a flag an important symbol for any country? For this project, you will be creating your own wordless message from this list of words. Candlefish, roosterfish, goatfish, torpedofish, dogfish, catfish, guitarfish, toothfish, sawfish, dragonfish, rabbitfish, and rockfish. Choose which fish to imagine and draw. Choose colors, lines, textures, and other details to add to the drawing. You may wish to draw the outline of the symbol first. Keep in mind the idea you want people to understand when they look at your symbol. Draw the main shape of the imaginary fish quite large. Gradually add more details. Show where your fish might live. Show what it likes to do.